Okay, so flipping an array, it's actually having a different array with the with the split positions. You know, like if you had 45 here, now you're gonna have it at the end. If you have 67 here, now you're gonna have it almost at the end, and it keeps going like that. Um, the theory that I that I will use behind this exercise, it's going to be. Let's say that I have an array, you know, with a b and c i would want to loop each array you know i want to have i want to go through the position for the first position no actually my bad i will loop like we've done in previous exercises that we've looped from the end of the array you know from the end instead of looping from the beginning i will loop from the end you know so i will start at c and when i find c i will have a separate array that it's empty and as 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 I type as I loop I will add the positions into this separate array so C will become here then when I loop again B will become here and then when I loop again A will become here you know so I will end up having the opposite you know just the opposite so let's do that it's a pretty simple exercise once you understand the mechanics behind it so we know that if we want to loop an entire array from the beginning to the end, we'll do let i equal to zero as long as i is less than r dot length i plus plus. We've done that in all the previous exercises. So by by now we should have some practice with it. Uh, you can see here that if I console log i, you'll see that i will be the position. So it's from zero. To six, so from zero, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six times. From zero to six, actually seven times. Remember it because it's minus one. So, okay, but I don't want to loop from the beginning to the end. I want to loop from the end to the beginning. So now I'm gonna swap this two. You know, I'm gonna loop from dot length minus one, and I'm going to loop as long as i is more or equal. To zero, and instead of increasing, I'm going to be decreasing i. So that's one thing. Then I'm going to have an auxiliary array like this. Uh, let's call it aux or a placeholder. It's just the array that will result, or the flipped array. Let's just call it like that: flipped array. And it's going to be empty at the beginning. And then I'll do instead of console.log i, I'll do um, let item it's equal to r in the position i you know so i have the item and not the position and then i'll say flip array that push because push is to add a new array a new item in the array and i'll add item and that's it um now you can see when i console.log flip array console.log flip array Let me first comment these two. I'm gonna comment these two and this one because I I think I I skipped an explanation that is or a, or not an explanation a demonstration that on how to loop inverted right. Imagine I don't have any content here and I don't have any content here and, and I don't have this flip array. I just have the loop. If I run it, you'll see that it's now going from six to zero instead of going from zero to six like before. So that's what I wanted to show. I I I, I skipped this. And I shouldn't have. So basically, it's from the top to the bottom, from six to the bottom. And then, if I want to retrieve the item and print the item instead of the position, I'll just do item here. And there it is. And if I print it, you'll see that it starts from 60, that is basically the last position, and then it ends up in 45, that is basically the first position. So that's good. And now the missing step will be to add it into a new array as it goes so that the new array has. The items inserted in a in a reverse order. So there it is. If I print it, now you have 60, 32, 5, 30, 23, and then it ends up with 45. That is this one. And if we test it, it should probably work. Woohoo!